This is Monaco on the fabulous French Riviera, where Her Serene Highness Princess Stephanie welcomes film and TV star Bronson Pinchot as they present the greatest magicians from around the globe on the Champions of Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Monaco, where a real-life princess is patron of magic. You know, magic, magic is... I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't see that there, but I, 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 you want it more, like, uh, magical? No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's nothing to do with you, it's just the problem is the sound. You were perfect. I really like that. It stinks. I don't know what happened. He was so much more sexy with the most savoir-faire in James Bond. Uh, I think you're thinking of Pierce Brosnan. Who is that? Uh, Branson Pinchot. Who is Branson Pinchot? Does funny accents? Okay. Whatever. <sighs> oh, the princess looks nice. Very nice. <gasps> Ooh, la la. Hello, Bronson. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? The happy 700th birthday of your of your of your family and and Thank, uh, and, thank you. And, 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 and I love your country. Thank you, so, Bronson. So, uh, <gasps> How was your flight? It was great. I uh, got a little bit bumpy over over Switzerland, and I you know I, I thought I was gonna just kind of. Ah, oh, hey, hey, Bronson. No. Hello, Your Highness. Very good to see you. Thank you. Uh, if I may, action. Well, this evening we'll show you some astounding illusions. That's right, Your Majesty. Yeah. Princess, you were perfect. Thank you. I mean, it was so... It was poised, yet it was luminous. It was uh, handsome, yet winsome. There was a... And you know, there was a, there was a hint of danger. Also, I have decided you do not speak. You do not say no lines at all. I want you to just look at her with silent ecstasy. Let me see you do silent ecstasy. Ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. So we will go right to uh, the master of the impossible as it were, Brett Daniels. It's going to be okay.
to trick them, you see? Who's David Williamson? Open your hand. David is a very funny guy. Yes! He has these adventures in Monaco with his friend Rocky. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, you really don't quite know what David's up to and what he's going to do next. Everything he does is great. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. He's a very, very talented magician. This is our friend Sam, and I just met Sam here, and Sam tells me he's seven years old. Sam, I want you to have this toy. All right? It's a gift from Monica. Somebody will pay for that mom. <laughs> Sam, this is a trained raccoon. Now, look, he's hypnotized right now, but he's going to come to life, okay? There's nothing. Look, he doesn't move. He's in a deep slumber. All you have to do is blow in his face. Oh, look at that. He comes to life. Isn't that it's a real... Here, you can scratch him under his chin. That's... Oh, see, he likes that. Isn't he nice? Man? Oh, watch out, man. It's all right. He's housebroken. No, come back. Yes, yeah, go ahead. What's your name? None. None? Oh, no, it's all right. I not realize it. It used to be, man. No, it's, it's just a... Scratch him under his chin. Are you sure? Yes, it's all right. It's all right. Well, why is it what he is to you? Oh, my no, no. Oh, oh, security! It's okay, man. Everything's under control. I can scratch him under his chin. Is it that? No, watch out. Are you okay, man? Are you all right? Everything? Yeah! Let's do another one. Hi. Come here often. Hi. How you doing? Calm down, ma'am. It's all right. It's a trained, trained raccoon. What is your name? Olivia. Hey, Olivia, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> no! Watch out, Olivia! It's okay. <laughs> Here, you can feed him. Open your hand. See, munchy, munchy, munchy. Here's some food. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Sam, we're not here to talk about raccoons. I'm going to make flowers appear out of nowhere on the count of three. One. <laughs> that was good, Sam. For that, we take the toy away. No, I'm sorry. Have a nice time in Monaco. Okay, are we ready? Look at that little scale hmm? rabbit up there. <laughs> Let's get one. And... Quiet! Action! Oh, my ladder. Um, I'm not, I'm not really sure about this. Can I, can I just have, like, a sip of water? No, well, uh, we don't have time for this, okay? Action! Behind me is the most famous casino in the world. The Casino de Monte Carlo. We're not going to use any of this, okay? We don't have to show his face. We pan around, we show the lights, we show people under the bushes. Oh, my God. And then we come over here, we show the girl with the belly button. Come back just for the last line. And here's our next illusion.
Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse us, moi. Oh, garçon. Don't try to speak French. Your accent makes me sick. Um, could I have uh, an espresso, please? No. Uh, is the espresso machine broken? No, too early for espresso. You have chocolate, but it's your own number. Just charge it to Champions of Magic. I'm the host. Don't be upset that it feels pleasant. <laughs> you don't watch much TV, then. Of course I don't watch TV. American TV is the end of civilization as we know it. So crass, so stupid, so obvious. Blech. Look, it's Jerry Lewis! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like magic? Oh, yes. Oh. Wow. 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 Thank you. I would love to stay with you, believe me, but I need to go on stage. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, believe me. Galena. Galena is a, a very feminine and, and beautiful magician from Russia. Ooh. It's always nice to see the linking rings. It's very beautiful. And it's nice to see a, a woman magician for once in a man's world. <laughs>
I'm all ready. No, Time you're not. Go. Come over here. Stop. Let me have your first line. <clears throat> when I see sharp objects, I like to take a few steps back. No. Because yeah, there's no. Never... Well, whenever I see sharp objects, fear! This is not some little sitcom where you have a little boy that cannot even talk and a little dog and little things. Like... Fear. I want to see raw animal fear. Do the next line. Um, uh, uh, uh. Please welcome one of Magic's greatest teams from Holland. Tulips? Hans, Clock, and Sita. My brother Rocky. Rocky, come on. He's a trained raccoon boy. Stand back. Stand back. No! Oh, look out! He was going for the throat! Oh my god, are you alright? Nice to see you. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. It's okay, man. Nothing in the box. And watch the raccoon goes down into the box and take the magic wand and wave it over the box. And say the magic words, hocus pocus. Chicken bones choke us. And the raccoon disappears. Isn't... And it goes back into my hat. Huh? Good, huh? <laughs> Funny raccoon doing a dance and scaring women. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Pardon. Pardon. Oh, no, no. <laughs> See the blade, man? Please, man. Please. Just touch the raccoon. Come, please. Hans, Clark, and Sita. Well, he's tall. She's very talented. And what does he do? The backstage act is an old act, but I think their approach is a whole new approach. More modern. Holland has produced a lot of great magicians. Oh, yeah. Hans, Clark, and Sita are really the best. Hi, I'm Linda Lacoste.
Frost, and I'm here to introduce you to the famous Dutch duo, Hans Klok and Sita. Problem is, they're not here yet. But wait, why don't I just show you how their magic cabinet works, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, an empty box. Still waiting. I was wondering if we could possibly show the audience how it works. You mean we feel the secret? Well, yeah, exactly. Mm. No, no, no. I don't think so. I'm not supposed to. Come on, he's not here yet. Let's do it quickly. Uh, you know how magicians think about giving away secrets. I know, I know. But hey, Hans isn't here, so let's just do it quickly. Huh? Uh, okay, okay, okay. No yeah? time. Yes. Great. Okay. Now watch closely, and you will learn how a magician makes a person appear from an empty box. Uh, there's just one thing. It's normally meant to be a secret, and uh, I'd really like you to keep it because Hearts has this terrible, terrible tendency to saw people in half, okay? Okay, now to get behind the scenes of this classic illusion, the first thing we have to do is turn the box around. So that you get to see it from the back. <laughs> normally it's the view you never see, okay? okay see, so get into position. There. Where are you? I really enjoy close-up magic, so I have a couple of friends here that are going to show us a few tricks. So, uh, guys. You first. You? Why, why don't no. you go okay. first? No, no, no. I think you should go I'll first. I'll be too nervous. You go. Okay, I gotta go first. I'd like to show you something using just um, uh, this glass mm. and, uh, and maybe a little bit of, of this uh, napkin, too. There are white eggs in Monte yeah. Carlo? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh! Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yikes. Thank you. Could I order one of those for later? <laughs> Breakfast. Oh. Hey, I have a uh, little card trick I wanted to show you, Princess. This is actually a done with an entire pack of 52 cards. And of course, the reason I am uh, one of the champions of magic. Whoops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Champions of Magic, because I am the finest card manipulator in all the world. Let me just... This is the trick. Now, uh, you might think that I could make you select a card uh, by forcing you to pick a particular card. I don't do such things. So what I will do is drop the cards on the table, and I would like for you to call stop at any time. Stop. Right there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take the 51 cards you selected, Princess, and remember them, please. You know what? I have a better idea. Write your name in big, bold letters. But do me a favor. When you write your name, don't cross the T or dot the egg. I. There's egg on there. I'm sorry. Thank That's you very right. much for that egg <laughs> trick. Yeah, just for all one line in cursive. Uh, and just so they're all kind of connected. So, and you, you just, I just want to kind of connect all the... I'm funny that way. I don't know. I had a strange childhood. There's your signature on the card that you didn't select written with indelible ink. It used to say that right there but it rubbed off. Mm. But what I want you to do is take your 51 cards and place them back in the pack wherever you like. This is a beautiful trick. Just give me, thank you. <laughs> and we'll shuffle <laughs> your 51 cards into the pack so they're lost amongst the 52 cards. I have no idea where your 51 cards are. But when I snap, now I'm gonna stand for this. I don't know if you guys will stand for this, but I'm gonna stand up because what's going to happen is something very amazing. I'm gonna snap my fingers and all 51 cards will fly 
into my pocket. Oh! Oh! I just felt the first one arrive. Look. Was that, was that one of the 51 cards that you selected? I think so. Thank you. <laughs> 50 to go. Yes! I just felt the second card arrive. Was that one of the, uh, would you like to take the next one out? No, no, Mr. Magic will do it. Let me just reach in there myself. And there's the, in fact, let's just cut to the chase and take all 51 cards out of the pocket. Of course, except for the one that you didn't select. Oh, the Ace of Hearts. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. You're, you're too kind. No individual clapping, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm an autograph collector, and uh, it's, very, it's an honor to meet you. Could I keep your autograph? Yes. Really? Thank you. Just... <laughs> I, I'm, I collect a lot of famous people's signatures, so I appreciate you letting me do this. I have Luis's. And I got uh, <laughs> Bronson's in here. Fire. For centuries, fire was the original method to determine if a person possessed real magic. If a village wanted to find out if somebody was for real, they tied him to a pole and they set him on fire. If that person was consumed by the fire, they were judged innocent of being a magician. If they survived, then they were guilty. Guilty of being a sorcerer. In just a little while, I'll be taking the place of my little friend. I will be tied to a stake, and I will be set on fire. Tonight, we will find out if I truly am a real magician. And if that doesn't work, we'll have a barbecue. Is any of the script? Next on the Champions of Magic. Brett Daniels is tall, dark, handsome, very mysterious. Is that the end? I really love the part where he recreates um, a very old style of magician that was created in Europe, in fact, by Robert Houdin. Uh, what is the old style? More panache? More dramatic and mysterious. Brett Daniels also makes billiard balls appear from nowhere. Is he really like the most expert with the billiard ball? He does it very well. I did not mean that.
Okay, princess, tell me what you think. It's you. Does it have raw animal fire? Yes, because now that I'm you mentioned... I'm trying mention. to get Bronson to have some raw animal fire to match what you've got. Because I think he's a little flat. In the beginning, I put him in this shirt. He looked like a little woosie. Now, if we don't do that, we could do something like a fantasy in yak. Two yaks, side by side. A blonde yak and a black yak. You could be wearing this yak. Hold on to it you, for just a second. You really think the yak thing is a good idea? Yes, I see you in this for the top. And this for the bottom. And we leave it open with no shoes. Yeah, but how about uh, for Bronson? Ah, I have an idea for Bronson. We can get him tattooed. Look what I did in honor of you. Every little fish. You see nice. that? And you have the dolphin. Mm. The two of you are barefoot like two peasants. It's very Anna Magnani. Hey, Rocky and I are in front of the Oceanographic Museum in Monaco. We're going to go fishing. We've been all over Monaco, and now we're at the uh, aquarium, and... Oh, cool, look, piranhas. Whoa, no, Rocky, release. Uh, leave the piranhas alone. No, it's okay. Come first. Mm. Mm. Jeff McBride in final preparations for being burned alive. Bronson's skin looked really bad. Can we get makeup over here? David, I'm on it, okay? You twit. Oh, you do look really bad. You've been eating too much cheese, got to drink lots of water, love. No one is going to be looking at you anyway. They're all staring at this Jeff McBride. He's going to set himself on fire. Oof. I wouldn't do it. I hope you know your lines. You only get one chance at this, honey. Should I do a little eye makeup? Uh, okay. Just don't ever do it. Oh, no. I'm going to keep it very subtle, like when I do prints. Very light. Very light. Hey, kids, don't even think about trying this at home. of gas will heat up to 650 degrees, turning the chains themselves into burning steel. If Jeff is in trouble, his safety fire curtain will buy him a few extra seconds.
Highness, what a surprise. Yes, well, I meant to make sure you were taken care of properly. Oh. <laughs> I, I hope my segments worked out okay. You were just great. Oh. Great, Bronson. Thank you so much. Here's your car. Oh. oh. This is beautiful. Don't stay away too long. I guess you take a later flight. No. No. I, I not only speak as your co-host, Bronson, but as the voice of Monaco, and I say goodbye. It's not I don't a, want to miss your flight. It's not a real goodbye look. No, that's a really Please. Oh, hello look. I mean, you look like an incredibly beautiful grape. Goodbye. No. <laughs> hey. Goodbye. Bye, Your Highness. Bye-bye. Don't miss the flight. <laughs> no. Bye. Bye.